It was a day that started out much like any other. It was warm, a little muggy, and some showers were around the area as well. But a moderate risk for strong storms was in place for the Mid-South, and by 11 a.m., the Storm Prediction Center upgraded that risk to a high risk, something we don't see very often, not only here in the Mid-South, but across the country. And not only did that high risk get issued, but also a mesoscale discussion came out from the Storm Prediction Center signifying a PDS tornado watch would eventually be needed. That is a particularly dangerous situation that very rarely gets issued. And within two hours, that tornado watch was up for Memphis and most of the Mid-South. So I jumped in our traffic tracker and headed towards Tunica, Mississippi, where we would hopefully intercept some sort of tornadic storm and bring it to you live on air. It wasn't long, though, before in East Arkansas, a storm that tore through Little Rock ended up getting stronger, just in time to hit the town of Wynn, Arkansas, straight on. And unfortunately, that storm continued its path eastward, just north of the Memphis metro area, towards the town of Covington, which also took a direct hit. At this point, I was in Tunica, Mississippi. Seeing a storm developing just over East Arkansas and heading our way, we were in the perfect spot. That's where our meteorologist Matt Urasavik is. Matt, we know that you and your photographer are staying out of danger, of course. So where are you exactly? What are you experiencing? Uh, yeah, Andrew, that's exactly right. We are out of danger right now, um, but we are following this storm very closely as it's moving extremely close to the town of Tunica, probably, like you just mentioned, only a few minutes away here. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around because we have visual on a wall cloud here just off to our right-hand side, uh, what could be very well housing that tornado that, again, is... A strongly rotating wall cloud was directly in front of us, one that we would follow for miles and we are on route 61 uh, facing to the right hand side of the screen is facing north um, and here in a couple of seconds we're going to go a little bit farther to the north uh, not too close to this system again uh, hopefully everyone is in their safe place in tunica because as the storm neared the town of tunica so did we heading north directly toward it we are just to the south of the system now. Um, can you get into this uh, little middle section here so we can show them what we're looking at? Um, yeah, here, we're going to give you a visual here. We're out the front. People are pulling over left and right. They, they know exactly what's going on here, uh, which is good to see because and you can see, actually, there's a guy right here that he's going to be in the shot. Yeah, there he is. He's, he's pulled over. He is uh, enjoying the view. Guys, that is a large wall cloud right in front of us. And it is rotating extremely rapidly. Um, if there is not a tornado on the ground, there likely will be here in just a few minutes. And again, we are now no moved north uh, just a little bit. We are now just three miles to the south of the town of Tunica. Um, I can see it off in the distance here. Everyone going north on 61 is currently pulling over. Uh, extreme flashes of lightning, guys. This storm is extremely intense, and we are currently in that section, what I like to call the inflow. And uh, right in front of the camera, you can see the winds coming right out of the south. It, it's this system sucking in all of the air and sending it up into the atmosphere, and that's exactly what we're we taking a look at. We can see the at. dust. Yeah. I do expect this uh, likely tornado again to go just to the north of the town of Tunica here, potentially onto the northern side. And these winds, Andrew, have picked up. We're probably talking 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts right now. Um, we're kind of in the inflow section of this storm, and we've kind of centered that wall cloud here right in the in the front of the uh, the news van. You can see it there in the camera. A lot of the wall cloud continued to move near the town of Tunica, creating extreme winds before moving northeast. Guys, just to confirm what Chelsea just said, power flashes, uh, you, you may not be able to see it on our dash cam here, but uh, we're definitely seeing power flashes up ahead. That is uh, very concerning as this likely tornado is going right 
over, just over the northern side here of Tunica. So that, um, and the uh, extreme rotation in this wall cloud is continuing. So this is something that we really need to watch closely, especially because, Andrew, you've been tracking this and the track of it taking it towards maybe the southern side uh, of Memphis, northern DeSoto County. Uh, it's a little concerning because it, it's a very populated area if this continues to be a confirmed tornado on the ground. We continued to follow the storm for several hours until we finally lost it. It ended up going on to produce an EF3 tornado, creating a loss of property and lives in McNary County, continuing towards Nashville. It was time to turn our attention back to the southwest. More storms have been developing, and one was tornado warned, so we moved into position. Watching the western skies as the storm moved closer, continued to be tornado warned and housed an extremely strongly rotating wall cloud along with the potential for a tornado and yes, an epic light show which we got to watch for 20 or even 30 minutes. Major props go out to the folks at the Storm Prediction Center who saw this event from six and seven days out, continued to refine the forecast and put those high risks in place, which unfortunately ended up verifying. This event would go down as the third biggest tornado outbreak in U.S. history.